We're here with Patty the Baddie Pimblet. Now, you're going to be Patty the Daddy. Congratulations, you're expecting two twins. Do you want people calling you Daddy in the octagon? <laughs> no, but uh, I laugh like I'm the daddy when I'm beating them up. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, But you're going up against a UFC legend, Tony Ferguson. Are you going to be the fighter that finally puts him down and sends him into retirement? I could be like, I could be that final nail in the coffin, but I'll never tell anyone when to retire, you know what I mean? Um, so it's up to him. No one wants to see Tony go out on a loss, but he's not doing it at my expense, so he's going to have to have another fight after I beat him up. I'm sure you've seen him kick a metal pole with his shin. I'm sure you've probably heard the 911 call. He's training with David Goggins. That doesn't worry you at all, Paddy? No. Gives me more confidence. Why would you train with David Goggins for an MMA fight? You think it's a waste of time? Yeah. It's stupid and pointless. You've called this fight a lose-lose fight. If you do crack into the top 15 after this fight, is that a win for you? Yeah, of course, but I'm not going to crack into the top 15 by finishing Tony Ferguson. I just look at Bobby Green. Bobby Green finished him and then had to fight Grant Dawson for the ranking. So I know that's what will happen. Um, beat Tony Ferguson, then hopefully before me, my wife has the babies, I'll be able to fight again and get into the rankings. Well, it's a, it's a great fight on a stacked card, but it's also the battle of the hairstyles. What hairstyle would you rather, Tony Ferguson's receding hairline or the Paddy the Batty cut? Nobody wants to receive an airline, lads, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you've got, go the bowl, you've got the bowl cut going. Do you ask for the J from the in-betweeners when you get your hair cut? Nah, I just get it trimmed. I go to hairdressers, lads, I don't go to barbers. Okay. You I never get the layers put in it. You never ask for like maybe a fade? You know, we're not going to see Paddy the Baddy with like a skin fade or anything no, like that? Never. No? No, you just love a mullet over there, lad, and we we're, do. we're not a barber. Look like a sausage with a mullet. Speaking to the Australian fans, can you give us your best Aussie accent? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm going to mess this up now. That's Thank the you. easiest one. Good day, mate. That's not bad. It's That's not, not too bad. bad. We got the uh, Aussie Joel. He used to come and train with us. Okay. a lad from Australia, so I had a little bit of practice of saying that to him. With the fight this weekend, are you looking to personally prove yourself and win some, some fans back over? There's obviously been some backlash, and you've talked about dealing with some backlash online. Are you looking to send a message out to some fans? Nah, all the real fans still support me, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm just can't wait to shut some of the haters up, put them in their place. It's going to be great. Another person in the spotlight on this card, Ian Gary. What advice would Paddy Pimblett have to Ian Gary? Just sit back and relax, lad, and let everyone say what they've got to say. You know what I mean? Because you're not going to change it. You haven't read the, the book, How to Be a Wag? No, you're not familiar with that? <laughs> no, I'm not a big reader. You're not a big reader? Donald Trump's going to be in attendance as well. The election's coming up. How do you think Donald Trump would go in an octagon with Joe Biden? Oh, Donald Trump would absolutely kill Joe Biden. Joe Biden can't even get down the stairs, lad. He falls down him and he's walking. Okay. I can't even remember who's dead or alive, lad. Trump would punch his face in. The last one is your prediction for the fight. Uh, obviously, I'm expecting a, a grueling fight with Tony Ferguson because he always comes to bring it, but I want to get him out there in the first round and finish him faster than anyone else has ever finished him before. And a prediction for the main event? Leon, third round, TKO. This is called the, the power band back home. Now, I know you might not say this before, but I just want to give you a test. Try and push my arm down. All right, very easy. Yeah. With the power band on. Right. Peak athletic performance. Okay, maybe maybe not. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. You're a legend.